everyone welcome back to the channel today i am actually heading into our pop-up store so i thought i'd bring you guys along with me um i have been doing this pop-up store i think it's coming up to its second week now um we're in its second week so very exciting i am currently going in like twice a week three times a week and it's really fun so I'm gonna explain the whole scenario explain what's happening show you the little pop-up stall probably won't be able to film too much in there considering it is in a bank um so I don't want to be too loud or anything but I'll probably just do like a little video and do a voiceover for you but before I head off I want to just explain what's happening go through all what a pop-up stall is how you go about it um and yeah hope this video helps anybody who's interested in doing a pop-up stall or a um, little market stall in a shopping center so make sure you like subscribe and yeah we'll get into the video so if you know me or have been following me for a while, I love doing markets. I do markets all the time. I try to do at least once a month. Um, when it gets to like the end of the year, so like November, December, I tend to do at least two, three a month just because they're more popular. Um, there's more markets, there's twilight markets and all that. But during the winter months, it is a bit hard to secure market stores that are going to be okay, um, going to be ideal weather and whether they're inside outside etc most of the markets i tend to do are outside which is why during winter months it is a bit challenging because you don't you can't predict the weather you can't predict what's going to happen you don't know if you're going to be sick because obviously during winter you tend to get sick a bit more um the immunity's down so i try and change it up and try and find things that i can do inside such as pop-up stalls which is why I kind of came about this pop-up stall in the Bendigo Bank near me. I'm a Bendigo Bank customer. If you're not from Australia, Bendigo Bank is just a bank in Australia. I have always banked with Bendigo Bank. It's just my local bank. And I went into my bank one day and saw that there was a pop-up option um, for businesses and everything. And I was, you know, querying it. And I was chatting to the teller, so the person that was helping me out with what I needed. And I was asking her, I was like, oh, so what's the, what's the deal on this pop-up stall? What do you have to do? Like, do you have to pay? What do you do? And she said, email this person and we'll send you information. Um, fast forward, I emailed the person and yeah i now have a pop-up store there so basically in bendigo bank they have a couple of different branches so they have all different types of branches throughout australia and a few of them lucky for me one of them is my closest branch um actually have a small space called a pop-up store supporting local um and it's a community space because it's a community branch and just there to support local businesses and local fundraisers and everything like that so there has been lots of things for like breast cancer fundraisers um those sort of things school fundraisers um as well as small businesses so i um, I've rented out the space for a month. The only thing that's costing me is the insurance, which I am so grateful for. And basically all I've had to do is set up my stall. Um, so I've rented it out for a month. I set it up on the Saturday and I was there and everything. And then I left it and I go in probably like twice or three times a week. So I tend to go in on Saturday mornings because it tends to be quite busy with a lot of foot traffic in the shopping center, considering it's only a little shopping center. I also go in on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I just change up the times depending on what day, if it's school holidays, etc. The pop-up stall is always there, which is the amazing part. It's always there. Um, I don't have to man it all the time. I can just go in as much or as little as I want to, which is amazing. They are able to take cash for me. So being a bank, they are able to take cash, hold it for me. And then whenever I go in, I just get it and you know find out what I've sold and then replenish the stock which is what I've been doing so today what I'm doing is I'm going in it's now two o'clock so I'm going in 2 30 till 4 30 because it's a Thursday so I've decided that I'll go in at that time I tend to get a lot of interest from kids and um, girls and everything that are school sort of age so I thought I'd try and go in after school and see what it's like today but I've got my bag so I'm going to show you what I've got in my bag I every time I go to the pop-up store I always take cash like a float with me just like a market so I've got my float money 
I also have my Square, which I've been charging. Square is just like an FBOS machine if you guys haven't heard of it before. They're amazing. Um, if you are a business and are after a Square, I have a link in the description, which is just like an easy way to get it. And I think you get like the first thousand dollars spent on it like tax free or something um because you do have to pay a percentage each time you use the square but it's only like a small percentage so it is worth it i also have in here all of my dog bandanas so at the market store i have my display of the dog bandanas but i've only got the display ones there because it was just the easiest way i decided to do it and so i every time i am personally there i take the dog bandanas if someone wants to buy them i can show you the sizes etc and it's just the easiest way i've found possible um and i i also have some extra scrunchies that I have sold that I need to replenish stock of. So this one, there was a lot of blues and greens this time, but this is like a poppy one. Then we got the dusty dots. We've got a couple of white poor ones. They're not focusing properly, but yeah, all sorts of ones there. Um, and I'm, yeah, really excited. I'm going to head in soon and yeah, just sit there. I might do some editing of YouTube. I... Last week when I was in there, I did some uni study, so it's really fun. I can just take time out to myself, um, be at the store, and it's just like a market, but it's inside, it's warm, get to chat to the people at the bank, and it's really fun. So, yeah. Now, before I do head in, I just wanted to touch on how you go about this, how you go about pop-up stores, um, if you're interested, what you should do, what I would recommend to do. So in winter months obviously markets as i said are a bit more challenging to do because you just don't know what the weather's like you, and there tends to be not as many markets in winter or in australia at least during winter i suggest even just email the way to go about pop-up stores email your local bank email your local shopping center um, email your local schools etc um, popular foot traffic places so more your shopping center and supermarkets definitely just email or give them a call. See what they offer, see what they recommend to do. Um, some shopping centers you can rent out spaces, like little spaces or big spaces. Think of when you pass, you know, random cars in the shopping center. They're all pop-up stores that people have rented out, businesses have rented. So anyone can do that as long as you have an ABN, as long as you've got insurance um, and you sign the policy and everything and agree to paying the amount and, you know, being there certain times. The pop-up store at the bank I'm really blessed with because I don't have to be there every day to man it myself they can man it for me as it's like in a little section of the bank but once in shopping centers and everything you do have to man I think yourself um, all the time so something to think about um, also the timing of it I was really strategic in my timing this time um, I haven't done a pop-up store yet so I was really strategic and decided to do it in like the end of financial year which is what it is at the moment so I decided to do I think I was the 9th or 10th of June to the 8th of July so it means that it's kind of going over the end of the financial year into the new financial year um, school holidays as well uni holidays all sorts of things keeping it open on Saturdays when the banks open um, all places where the foot traffic will be a bit higher also being a bank end of financial year is pretty popular so that's just kind of my thinking behind it and so far it's paid off so far I've made a fair bit um, gained new customers and it's been really great I've met new people and I have loved it I definitely recommend if you're interested in doing a pop-up store contact your local supermarket um, shopping center etc look into that but also branch out so look into different ways that you can do it if you want to pay for a smaller one pay for a smaller one but extend your you know supply and do these are display only but you can purchase online make sure you do things like that so that you can show as much as possible of, the, of your business that you have um, and then you can always gain customers from online as well what I'm offering at the moment is I'm doing market prices so deals and everything as well but I'm also offering that if they want to order things online they can order it and get it picked up at the stall it works the same way so think of ways that you can attract your customers as well that's always a good thing what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I, to that quarter past two I'm going to leave it um and I will put a little video in of the pop-up stall and explain it and everything um basically my area it's about 
three by three. It's a bit bigger than a market stall size. Um, but I have set it up very similar to my market stall setup. The only difference that I'll show you in a few videos is I have my banner, which is usually up there in videos, but it's usually kind of like up the top behind me at a market stall. The banner is actually suction cupped on the window so that when people walk past, they see my banner, they see it's my business, and then it attracts people in. I do also have an A-frame sign, which I have found has been really helpful because I've got a list of like what I sell on there and then it attracts people when they're walking by so that they don't actually have to come in to have a look they can just you know see and then be like oh scrunchies and go because I find that some people don't like walking into stores just for browsing sometimes because they find it a bit intimidating I mean I'm the same if there's lots of people in a store and just have all eyes on me it's the same at market stalls but yeah so I am going to head to the pop-up store very soon take the scrunchies with me take the bandanas see what I need to replenish in the stall and I'll give you a little video. This is only going to be a short video but I thought I would just update you all with what I've done um, as it's a very exciting business venture for me. So I wanted to share it with my YouTube family and yeah just say if you're interested in doing a pop-up stall do it. It's been so beneficial, I have loved it and I'm only halfway through. So yeah I'll see you at the pop-up stall. So this is what I was talking about, about the suction cups. It's just on the window and then it's in a little shop in the shopping centre. Got my A-frame and then this is my little setup that I have. So I'll do a little montage and show you.
it is now about 5 30 i finished up at the pop-up store at probably about 4 30. i went and got a massage after because my neck and shoulders were really sore and i think it's because i'm always looking down with sewing and everything and on my laptop so got a massage it was great um i wish it went for longer but i am now just counting my money and everything i didn't have anybody come into the pop-up store when i was there but i had a fair bit of stock go when I wasn't there which was great it's always lovely to see like what goes and what sells and hear all the stories from the girls who are in there in the bank but that's like the reality of having a pop-up shop like it's not like it's bad luck it's not like people don't want to buy from you it's just people are on their ways especially in a shopping center people are you know they go to the shops to go to Coles and back they go to the shops to go to the pharmacy and back or the butchers and back. They don't expect to walk into a bank, look at a pop-up shop, spend some money there and then go. They might not have time. They might not have the money. They, they might just miss it completely. And that's completely fine. Like that's the thing you have to remember when doing a pop-up shop. And it's the same with markets. Like some people are just there to browse. Some people don't have time. And it's, you really just got to remember that. I remember the first couple of markets I did, I got a bit upset in myself because even though I did sell a fair bit, I was like, well, there were so many people that looked at my stuff and said it was too expensive, said it was too, you know, they didn't need it or they already had enough. But I always put myself down and I was always like, you know, oh, they, do they don't want this. They don't want my products. What's wrong with my products? And I would always doubt myself. But in reality, it's not about doubting yourself. Your products are fine. Your service is fine. Your business is amazing, but it doesn't suit everybody. You can't be perfect in everybody's eyes, if that makes sense. So that's just a little pep talk for anybody doing markets or pop-up stores, because I know that would be something that I would want to hear if I were to go back and do my first market again. Always believe in yourself and not everybody is gonna like your business or stuff. Every, like people will judge and that's normal whether that be good judging or bad judging unfortunately it's normal but you will have your regular customers you will find people who will enjoy your stuff you will make friendships and make connections through your business it just takes time and that is what I've learned make sure you make use of Facebook groups and posting on Facebook notice boards all those sort of things put advertisements on your instagram your facebook use your personal accounts really just advertise because social media is a massive advertisement tool at the moment the more you put out there the more you're going to get back so i put on like my local notice board just saying you know hi like this is my business um we have a pop-up stall until the 8th of july if you're looking for a gift or just something for yourself come come have a look come check us out see what you think we're here these days these times give them as much information as possible so that they can go back and they can be like okay this is where i find it this is what time i need to go this is when the person will be in there this is how i pay etc the more information they have the less likely they're going to be like oh i don't know where it is i'm going to scroll off and we won't go yeah basically i didn't sell anything today at the pop-up store and that is completely fine um i am going in on saturday and normally saturdays are a lot busier um so it's going to be interesting to see how much I sell, if I sell anything, if I meet anybody. I am going to go back into the pop-up store on Saturday. Thank you so much for joining. I hope I've helped you out in the slightest way or maybe a big way. Um, but I hope I've given you a few tips and given you a little insight on, you know, what a pop-up store is how to go about it um, and those sort of things so thank you so much for joining if you like these videos please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will be sure to produce more for you in the meantime stay gorgeous